It's only been out about 15 minutes. Digging pennies, modern, uh, just uh, stinking Lincolns, but they're copper, uh, and pull tabs. Oh gosh, other than that, there's not a lot of trash out here, but I got my first good signal. Check this out. How deep is that? About six inches deep? Oh, there it is. It's a seeded. It is a seeded quarter, and I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Man, check that out. That's just unbelievable. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you got to kiss her. She's beautiful. Mwah. What is it? Give me a hug! <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. Hey guys, back out on the road today. Got off early, so I decided to go back out and do a little bit of metal detecting. I uh, haven't done a whole lot here lately, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And uh, it's getting a little hot, and I'm ready for a water season to come in. In about a couple weeks now, I'll be out in the water. But anyway, this video is going to be kind of a hodgepodge of several different hunts on several different days over a period of about two different weeks. And uh, so we're going to be hitting some uh, a big old field where an old house used to be. We're going to be hitting possibly some old houses, uh, an old graveyard that dates back to the 1850s. And uh, hopefully we can go out and find a gold ring and do a ring return. And so it's just going to be kind of some hit and misses. I'm going to be meeting up with uh, uh, Digging Doc Holiday on a couple of these hunts. And the rest of them are, I'm going to be solo doing them myself. And so hopefully we can put together a pretty good video and find some good treasure in the process. So uh, headed out to a field today where we hit just the other day, and but this field is where I found some good old uh, coins, and so hopefully we can find some more today. And so I got just about a 10 minute drive ahead of me, so I'm gonna see you guys out in the field when we get to swing. just kind of get in the truck and go down here to this old spot uh, kind of near where I used to live and I dug a 1897 Morgan dollar here 1840 something half cent we dug Indians and stuff and so we're gonna come back out here with the man of and see what maybe we can find uh, today well he just got the first find I found a weedy and some trash but he's got a good little find check this out yeah he got him a Oh man, a palm olive token, a crystal white. Yeah, that was a scratchy high tone. See, there's still stuff out here. That's a good sign right there. Yeah, that's one thing good about the manicure is it can target separate. Why did, why did it ring up? Uh, just a, like a 70 something, but it was real wide. So I thought it was gonna be like a, a lid off of a mason jar. But hey, that's a keeper. That's, a good one. that's promising right there. Yeah. All right, let's keep swinging, see what else we can get. You know, anytime you're doing springtime hunting, you know the one thing you got to watch out for is snakes. Even though we're up in the pasture, I'm constantly, especially if I'm around the woods, I'm looking for copperheads in my area. But uh, just swinging here, I just saw one. Check this out. See him right in the middle of the screen? He's not a poisonous one, but he's sticking his tongue out at me. He's just a little old, I don't know what you call those snakes, but. Uh, He's all curled up there. Reckon he'll bite me. You can tell he's not poisonous by his head. It's a rounded head, rounded eyes. But uh, I don't know if that's a rat snake or if that's just something else. But he ain't going to move unless I make him move. But I'm not going to make him move. He's got every right there. He's just looking for some food. I'm going to leave him alone. Let's keep on swinging. Well, I'm back here in my secret hideout. I found an 1897, I think, 
uh, Morgan Dollar right here. We found Morgan, I mean a barber quarter there. We found right up there a seated half dime, 1841. Right over there we found a mercury dime, like a 28. And I don't know what this was in here. Um, we found other stuff in here as well. It could have been a dump. Or right up on the hill right there is a pond. And uh, when they dug that pond out, they could have pushed that dirt down here. And that, that stuff came from up there down here. We really don't know. But this is before I started making uh, YouTube videos. And uh, so I'm going real slow with my manicure And... Um, just trying to really listen deep because I know that we didn't get everything in here. And so I got a good 88, 89 to a 90 signal, about six to eight inches deep. So I want to live dig this together and let's see what this is going to be. You can see right there, 91, 92, 85. You turn on it and it's still ringing up high. Right there. So let's see what this is going to be. Let's dig. Maybe it's going to be silver. So we'll dig a we'll dig a big hole. There it is. Whatever it is, not a coin. That's why it's ringing up so good. Well, I thought I would live dig it anyway, just to see. It's just a piece of aluminum. Boy, they ring up good. Bazinga. Oh, I am so sweaty and tired. I, uh, I am just wore out. I'm wore out. Well, I haven't found anything but two Wheaties. Hunters found a, uh, a, a token and uh, some old knickknacks, but uh, I came over on this this area we're back up more toward the highway and got looks like a thimble let's uh look at it together i just took it out looks like it's gonna be one of those advertising thimbles let me clean it up let's see what we got well it says something there it says american national insurance company galveston texas at the Put the year there that that company was in existence. We should be able to look that up. Nice little find. So let's get a picture and let's keep on swinging and see if we can get, get some silver in here. Hunter just got this uh, ceramic bottle. That's pretty old right there, being that ceramic. It says Jake January. I wonder if that was a moonshine bottle. Who knows? Definitely old. You got that right over there? Yes. Sir. Yeah, kind of on the back end of the house side here. So maybe we'll get something else. Let's keep looking. Well, I'm out today at an old cemetery. It's one of the oldest cemeteries in this area. And it just has rocks for gravestones and some old gravestones in the late 1800s and, and um, some modern ones. But this cemetery was hidden back in the woods it just grown up no one took care of it and it just became lost for years and they recently found it again and kind of cleared it out and i got permission to come in here and to detect but uh, when you did in texas it's illegal to detect cemeteries and uh, not to mention it's just unethical uh so when i detect cemeteries i'm going to be detecting out away from the graves uh, I'll go around the graves, but won't go on the top of the graves. I'll just go into the outside of them over here. And back in the woods, there's a lot of places to detect because this is where the old buggies would pull up, the old cars, and then they would walk over to the main part of the cemetery. And so I don't want to dig anything off of a grave because it's probably put there uh, by a loved one. 
And you want to show respect too, because some people bury stuff on top of the grave of their loved one, so you never want to detect on top of grave. So digging Doc Holiday, he's working today, so I'm coming out here today, going to hit this area and a couple more little houses, and hopefully maybe even a ring return as well. So let's get out here, let's swing, let's see what we can come up with. Maybe get an Indian or an early Merc or maybe even a, a seated. That, maybe, that goes back to 18, late 1800s, so maybe we'll get a seated. So let's get swing, swinging, see what we can find. Well, I've been out about 15 minutes digging pennies, modern, uh, just uh, stinking Lincolns, but they're copper, uh, and pull tabs. Oh gosh, other than that, there's not a lot of trash out here, but I got my first good signal. Check this out. It's deep. Let's see if I can get on in the air. 87, 98. How deep is that? About six inches deep. All right, let's live dig it and let's see what we can get. Let me get my mark. All right. It's sandy. Look at that. Oh gosh, easy, easy digging too. Easy digging. Let me change hands here. Well, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. There's silver right there. Oh, they're coming out clean in this old sandy soil too. Looks like it's gonna be a murk. What year is that gonna be? Let's see. Let me wipe that off there. 1944? 1944 murk. Uh oh, I just dropped it. All right, right outside this grave. That's where I'm kind of going, just kind of outside the, the graves here. All the older stuff is back back over there. So hopefully we'll get in some old stuff back there. So let's take a picture. That's the first uh, good sign. Let's see if we can get some more. I just dug that mercury by that little stump. Came over here and dug a penny. Came right here and check this out. That's definitely going to be, what, early 1900s, maybe 1930s, 40s? Got a little moonshine out here and have a little party. Lots of pull tabs right through here. I think this is kind of where they kind of have a kind of a dinner on the grounds or something. But uh, that's kind of cool. Shows there's some old stuff in here, so let's keep swinging. Working down this outside perimeter. Just got a 65 there. It was end up being a, a false signal. It was a, just a, a nail giving a false signal. And now, what do y'all think a 55, 56 is? Six inches deep, right on the conductive line too. Right there, showing trash. Sometimes it does that on this man of core. All right, let's see what this is gonna be. Let's live dig it. This ground is so, look how that shovel just pushes down in the sand. Oh, it's so good. Easy digging. All right, let's see if we got it out of the hole. Yep. Hopefully. Maybe not. I see green. I see green. They're gonna be a. Uh, Indian or is it gonna be a, a wee? I've been digging. That's gonna be an Indian. Yeah. That's gonna be an Indian head penny right there. Yeah. Cleaning up good in this old sandy dirt. What year is that gonna be? Can y'all make that out? 
looks like a maybe a 1905 1905 Indian head penny with beautiful patina oh digging dock holiday you probably gonna regret not coming out here today all right let's get a picture and that was ringing up as a, a 55 that's weird they usually ring up like a 65 on the manacore well let's get a picture of this sweetheart and let's keep on swinging see if there's any brothers and sisters in here well i don't like this uh hot metal detecting i'm ready to get in the water but at least i'm in the shade it's all under the shade here but it's still kind of humid a lot of rain here in east texas a lot of humidity i didn't live dig this one it was um ringing up as a 75 which is normally just a penny i just uncovered it there's not a penny how's he silver man you got pennies ringing up in, in the 90s and you got uh silver ringing up in the 70s that's going to be that's probably why because it's a very old merc can y'all make that out 1917 i think is what that might be that's a very old worn out merc there now we're getting back but i'm also in the back uh part of the grave back here it's, it's older from about where that big stump is right in front of me those trees uh, back over this way is the oldest part of the cemetery, so we're going to start getting maybe in some older coins out here. But I'll take a, a 1917 Merc. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep swinging. See if there's any more right up in here. Check this out. I'm getting a 58, 59 there. Jump up a little higher to 70s there. And another 58, 59 here. So there's three targets, three separate targets. About four inches. This one about six, eight inches, six inches. Let's start with the highest uh, tone first. Let's get our mark here, and we'll just kind of work ourselves down to the left here. Just kind of dig a big plug. And see what we come up with. it is nope I see it's gonna be an Indian it's gonna be an Indian yep look at that I love digging Indian head pennies that's gonna be uh eighteen ninety eight 1898 Indian. Let's set it down here on that leaf. Let's see if we can find Well, I don't hear it now. Huh. Let me get my headphones back on and we'll see. It's just going to be trash. Yeah, that's just going to be trash. All right, so we got us an Indian head penny. That's another one for the bucket. 1898. Let's uh, get a picture on it. Keep on going. I can't keep it in focus. getting hot out here been out here for a little over an hour <laughs> got four coins that's good i wanted to show you a little bit of the cemetery i think i'm in, in the oldest spot right here 
because these are not even markers with writing on it. It's just it's just iron ore rock. Look at these graves. It's just rocks, and they're all up in those trees right there. And what's really sad, I'll show you here in just a minute, is that a lot of these graves are, are young people, babies. Look at that. There's one right there underneath that uh, sticks. Gotta watch for snakes when I'm out here. There's some very old, for our area, you gotta think our area was settled in the late, late 1800s and it's really in the early 1900s, this area. Uh, a lot of these headstones are going in the 1800s. Check this out. Infant daughter GF. Eight, oh, I can't read that. Shepherd born and died January 24th, 1874. Born and died. Here's another one. I can't really. I just see that's worn so bad. Look at this one, another one. Jesse M., daughter of the GF and MO, St. People Shepherd. Wow, born 1875, died 1876. So they lose an infant there in 74. And then they get a baby in 75, and it dies one year later. Oh, how sad. How sad. Let's see what this one. This one's got fancy writing. Died 1876. I can't read anything else on there. It's hard. Born November 13th. Hmm. It's going down with this one. All right. GF and M.O. Shepard, born October 20th, 1876, died 1878. Oh my goodness. So they have the infant in 74. It's born and it dies, same year. Then a year later, they have a baby and it lives for one year. It dies in 1875. And then they have a third child, born in 76 and dies in 78, two years old. Same family, same family. And I don't know if there's more headstones over here or not, but that is so sad, so sad. And here's the mom and dad right here, Alfred. Alfred Shepard, Florence Shepard. Died. 1876, she died in 1907. If it is the same family, I don't know. This father, mother here says father, mother. I said the headstones fell over. If I was strong enough, I put it, put it, put it back on there. Oh, sad tragedies. And this is probably some of the first graves here. And then there's there's some on the outskirts down through there, some 1900s right through there. And some more just rocks on top of the ground over here. All right, sad story. But those were hard times back in those days. And so, uh, especially out here where nothing was settled, uh, this was just all part of just being developed. And uh, so, rough times. We don't know how easy we have it today, do we? All right, I'm getting worn out. I'm gonna swing just a little bit more and then I may head over to that other house and see if I can find anything over there. Well, I moved on to that next location I wanted to do. There's a, on a corner here on this busy little street, you can see behind me, they are widening this uh, this highway. And so the state right away have gotten this and there used to be an old house right here. And I looked it up on historic aerials and it wasn't here in the 30s, but it was here in 55. So somewhere between in the probably the late 40s or early 50s, by looking at the house uh, on the old maps, it looks like it's like, you know, late 40s, early 50s. So, maybe some uh, Merc dimes, maybe some rosy dimes. Uh, that's about all I expect, maybe other than maybe a piece of jewelry or something like that you find in the yard or a token. So, I'm gonna hit this for about 30 minutes, and if I don't get anything, I'm gonna move on and 
I got a ring return I'm gonna try to do on this video as well. Um, guy lost it about a year ago and, and um, so maybe I can help him find that gold ring. I hope I can. So let's get to swinging. Let's see what we get here. Well, I've been out here about an hour and uh, got a weedy, got some little bullets and stuff like that. No really good targets, but this is the first one that I got right here. I just popped the top plug and I can still hear it down the hole. Check this out. The scratchy 1224. There we go. They're locking on now. 26, 24, 23. Like once I got it off of the the top, I could hear it a lot better. Let's see what we got here. Yep, I see it right there. I see it right there. You see it? There's the imprint. Uh, oh, it's going to be a buffalo. There it is right there. The red, green patina buffalo. I don't think we're going to get a date on it. We're going to see a date on the neck. Maybe when we get cleaned up, we might. I'll take that. But right in this area, there was an Indian head a penny over there, and I think an old Mercury Dimes right over here. And uh, so there's some... You know, you can tell it's kind of a home site, the old Catawba trees and all these big old oak trees around. So it looks like a depression right here. You can't tell on camera, but like a, maybe an old well was right there or something. But I'll take a buffalo. I'll take a buffalo. Let's set him up right there. And let's get a picture and let's keep on swinging. In a good tone here 64 69 but when I turn on it it's going up to the 80s it's got good depth jumping around oh huh? what do y'all think that's going to be trash is that going to be a penny is that going to be a silver dime well, it's jumping around from the 60s, the high 60s, which could be Indian head, to 80 something. That could be a mercury dime. So it could be trash. It could be nothing at all. All right, y'all make the call. Let's see if it's in the plug. Yeah, something's in there. I don't know what it is. That's right over there. Be small. Let me ground out my pinpointer again. All right. It's going to be probably nothing, because I'm not getting a good lock on it. It's right there. I cannot see it. That's a nail there. I just saw that. Well, whatever this is, it's small. There it is. But that's not what I was getting a signal on. I was getting a signal on a better target than that. Hmm. I'll come back to it guys. All right guys. I chased it out Pull a nail after nail after nail 
searching a hole, couldn't find what it was. But I just popped, it was way over here. Check that out. A little shiny right there. Oh, is it gonna be, looks like maybe a Merc. Yep, gonna be a Mercury Dime. A little silver for the day. I can't tell what that is. Maybe y'all can. Let's just. There we go. 1937. Maybe. Let me wipe it off my pants. Nineteen thirty-six. Nineteen thirty-six Mercury dime, and right here where we found another Mercury dime, right over here, a couple of, of several years ago. All right. Well, we called it, didn't we? I just wish I could have found it ahead of time, but it was way over here. I got it out the fir uh, first uh, couple of swings. I uh, got them out over here, and I'm still chasing all those nails over there. So I'm going to put her down right there. Let's get a pick. Let's keep on rolling. Oh, it's been about an hour since I dug that uh, Merc, and it's been uh, long and slow and no targets. I got a 29, 28, 29 jumping up to a 30 it's in the plug just by chance could be a nickel let's just uh, do it together and let's just see yep all right gonna be a nickel gonna be a nickel it's gonna be a nice v nickel a very nice v nickel check out i think it's a v nickel yeah v nickel see see that what kind of V-nickel? What year is that going to be? 19... Sorry about that, folks. 1899 or 18-something? 18 1899? Just did get the 1800s. Hey, I'll take that. That may be my last dig of the day. I tell you, I'm getting wore out. And, uh... I'll take that. 1899. All right, let's keep swinging to the truck and let's go home. Maybe we'll find something else along the way. Well, I'm out this morning at a farm that uh, one of the houses that I was detecting in this video, but she didn't, I didn't show anything at the house. I didn't find anything. But uh, at that house, I met this guy and he lost a, a ring out at the farm where he works. And so I told him, hey, I'll come out and check it out. So here it is. I'm going to come out here this morning and, and uh, spend a little while and digging doc holiday is going to come out here later on and and uh then we're going to do some more detecting elsewhere but he lost two gold rings so hopefully i can do uh, a two gold ring re recovery for him and man this guy's name is corinthian how about that i've never heard of anybody called corinthian but anyway i hope i can get corinthian's rings for him they're somewhere out here they lost about a year and a half ago little small gold diamond rings so maybe just underneath the surface so let's get the swing and let's see if we can find it well I moved on from that ring return I spent three hours out there didn't find anything and meeting up with digging Doc holiday over here we're going back back in that field where I found that uh, V nickel and that mercury dime and that uh, buffalo not too long ago and so we're gonna hit this one again go back to the cemetery and we're gonna got another house we're gonna hit and so hopefully we'll find something today and uh, finish out this video for you guys so let's get swinging oh man it's getting hot finds are few and far between i just found a weedy a bunch of trash but i got an 88 to 90 right here four inches deep i'm i'm around a lot of trash it could be trash but i want to live dig it just in case so let's spin you around let's see what this is so 80 to 94 90 91 all right we got our mark here let's live dig this and Hopefully it's going to be a big silver and not some big piece of brass. I've been digging a lot of brass out of here. Probably, and it's like, let me get a can or something. Yeah, let's see if it's still in the hole. I'm on that side wall over there. Let's go around this side. All right, 
Let's see if we can find this thing. See, this one to be over there. I'm gonna take a big. Ah, that's what it was. Man, I sure hoping that was gonna be a big piece of silver. All right, let's keep going. Well, we are finished up here. I got two Wheaties and uh, Hunter got, uh, said he got him a, oh yeah. That's Louisiana with a triangle. Mm -hmm. Louisiana tax token, that's 1930s. Yeah, right down there in that bottom. And I mean, the only signal down there. I'd, I'd like right. it, so. Well. Congratulations, man. You got something. You didn't get busted. Yeah. Well, today is just one of those type of days that's just a bust. I've gotten two Wheaties, I think, is all I've gotten all, all morning. Just struck out on the ring. We didn't find the ring. 103 hours there. Didn't get it. Met up with Hunter. We went to the pasture and, and got two Wheaties there. He didn't get anything. Well, he got that token. And then we went and hit the kind of a, the right of way of the front yard outside of the, the yard's fence and uh, didn't find anything there a key now i decided to come back out here to the cemetery one more time and uh this is where i found that um i think a chilled uh, v nickel and buffalo or um some mercury dimes i don't remember what i found out here uh, indian heads yeah two indian heads and two mercury dimes uh so maybe we'll find something here so when we do we'll get the camera on it we'll show it to you guys if not we're going to head out to the wrap up and uh, finish this video up all right digging doc holiday said he has got him a buffalo 1917. oh it is in good shape mm -hmm. you can even read the date on it mm-hmm yeah cleaned it off got it a little moist and then put some dirt back over it you i'm trying see. to get it focused guys so there we go Yeah, 1917. You don't usually get them when there's dates on them. Mm -mm. That's really good. Here in this good soil. Man, it's just, I tell you, that, those those Merc dimes came out of here just clean as a whistle. You can even see, read five cents. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of the best looking buffaloes I've ever seen. Right here. All right. Let's get some more. If there's a buff, and that's an early buff at that, 1913 when they started. And so this is 1917, so early one. Congratulations, man. You're on the board. All right. That's going to wrap up this video. Uh, didn't find too much out here. Hunter had a better time at the cemetery here than I did, but uh, we had a pretty good uh, trip all together. He's come out with me a couple of times. I did solo a few times. And like I said in the opening, this is just kind of going to be a hodgepodge type of uh, video, just jumping around trying to hit all other, all kinds of stuff. And so next week I'm headed up to uh, Massachusetts and hopefully get on some old stuff up there and have a great video coming for you guys here real soon. But uh, appreciate Hunter coming out and hunting with me today. And uh, we didn't make any predictions, did we? We didn't no. make any predictions, but uh, we had a good time anyway. Sometimes you find a lot of stuff, sometimes you don't. So let me spin you around. Let me show you what we got on this uh, video. All right, here's all the trash. This is just my trash. Uh, Hunter's got his fair share of it as well. But we did dig all these up out here at the cemetery, these old uh, jugs. Uh, Hunter looked it up and said that they're from 1960, and they're like a syrup bottles. And uh, I've never seen those big jugs like that. Um, some type of old spike out here. And uh, so a lot of, lot of junk, a lot of junk, just to get a few good finds. But that's the way it goes. I got a... Uh, mason jar lid with the porcelain top on it got a toy car got a lot of um, shotgun head stamps and one is a higgins and i don't have that in my collection i have to look that up and see how old that one is some type of little lantern piece or, or vase uh, something like that it's got glass in it got a couple of keys an advertising thimble some type of um some type of, I don't know what that is. Um, another little chain. I did get a marble. I got that out here at the cemetery. And got some casings and some bullets. Ended up with one quarter, one dime, seven pennies. 
ended up with uh, seven wheat pennies. Hunter ended up with two wheat pennies. I got an Indian head. That's a 1900. Dug that up here at the cemetery. Then I got a buffalo that's dateless and an 1899 V-neck I got over there in the, in the field. And um, my best finds were this uh, 1940, what do you call that, 41? Mm, I believe so. Yeah. What is that? 44. Uh, 44. 44 and a 36 Mercury. And then I got another Indian head here. I put them over here. This Indian head. That's a 18, what did we say that one was? 1898, I believe. Yeah. 1898. And then Hunter got a 1917. And I got a 1917 Merc. And the reason why I put those three there together is because they all came out of the cemetery all in the same area. Uh, we just dug them on different days. He gave him a tax token, a crystal whites token. And I think that's going to be it. So we had a good time, pretty good time, and uh, I guess the oldest coin is a 19, oh, 1898, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, that was an 1899, yeah, 1898. So there's all the trash, and here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come out to a cemetery in old field and with a buddy and dig up out of the ground. The greatest treasure is what I found up in heaven. So I want to encourage everybody to just keep searching, keep looking up until we meet again. I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.